Look at the picture. See the skull. Visible Frankenstein controls. The Brain Thoughts Broadcasting Radio. The Frankenstein Earphone Radio. The latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls. controls. Today's episode of Frankenstein Control is brought to you by Herbert Walker's House of Frozen Burrito. Mm. Come on down, bring your own microwave. Slam one of them delicious Herbert Walker frozen burritos right in there. Rev that sucker up with our high-voltage outlets. Watch your microwave scream! And the burrito emerges. A new man. Are the burritos alive? Yes! Well, they aren't before, but then they are after. Okay. Are they sentient, and can you still eat them? Uh, yes and yes. What are the What are the burritos made of? What are the, what's what's in them? What fillings are we talking about? Well, I can't give away all company secrets, mm. be right. <laughs> what, what's the flavor, at least? Uh, the flavor is burrito flavored, and also life flavored. Mm. The flavor of man. <laughs> Some may call it the meat of man. <laughs> Most people say it tastes like carnitas. <laughs> Carnitas was the name of Herbert Walker's last wife. <laughs> Carnitas, isn't that a guy from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... That's that's actually coincidence you mentioned that, Ada, because come on down to, to Carl Winslow's House of Burrito Magic. <laughs> and you'll get for free, bring the kids, you'll get a free Kingdom Hearts toy, one of 13. If you wear an Organization 13 uh, coat and hoodie to... You will uh, be shot on sight because we're scared of people. <laughs> the darkness is scary. <laughs> we're scared of the darkness. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm a fool. <laughs> Let's talk about Elden Ring. But first, who are we? <laughs> Welcome to Elden Ring Control, everybody. As always, 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 we are five weeks late. Yes, the game came out like a month ago. Yeah, or losers, it's fine. And by the... This is the second episode of our uh, of our recording session. Because we're lazy so By the lazy time you're assholes. hearing this, I've been playing this for yet another week. Yep, it's so true. So who knows how my opinions that I will state at this point will change. They probably won't change because I still love this game so far. Unless the final boss emerges and it's Miku Hatsune. No, I don't want to kill... I don't want to kill God. <laughs> <laughs> I already killed a whole bunch of gods. I don't want to kill the one that matters. The whole, she made Minecraft. <laughs> it's true. Michael Hoshelday made Minecraft. And the uh, then the shattering happened. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. That's what the Elden Ring really is. It's Miku Hatsune's ring. Oh, God. Uh, hopefully it's like a mood ring and not an O-ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... I'm B-Rai, and evidently I have to introduce myself. <laughs> before, before I'm going to use my very brief window to do so, to just uh, relate a, a bit of game news that is not Elden Ring related. Wait, put on the news theme. I've been playing the uh, GTA remasters. Um, oh, and they're they're fun. They're they're exactly what I was promised. They're not like they're, I mean, I have not encountered much of. The horrible, horrible shit that it got mocked for when it came out. It's uh-huh. it's pretty much been fun. It's been Did exactly. They fix it? I think they might have patched a bunch of things. Did they fix the fact that CJ and all of his friends in San Andreas look like horrible lizard people? I have deliberately. They look like Silurians. I have deliberately avoided playing San Andreas yet because <laughs> most of the worst of the screenshots that I saw were from that one, <laughs> and also Vice City was my favorite. But I do have to say that as as far as like being what was advertised. It is exactly what I wanted and does teleport me right back to middle school. (laughs) And nowhere was this better exemplified than when I uh, heard all the snatches of pedestrian dialogue and stuff that had been deeply ingrained into my brain, you know, 20 years ago. And I was driving and some guy goes, what are you doing giving birth? (laughs) And I was like, it's middle school all over again. (laughs) So what I want to know is... Uh, did they relicense the music on the radio station? It's all the same oh, as okay. it used to be. It's great. At least it's they exactly... got that. At least they didn't cheap out on that. No, they did not cheap out on that, and it's great because it's all the weird like music and stuff they had to commission and find for um, GTA 3 because they knew there was going to be a moral panic about the game when it was released, so mm-hmm. actual artists were loath to have their um, music included in it. Except for Hall Notes, I guess. Yeah. And then by the time... Uh, so they were out of touch. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's Thursday, everyone. <laughs> oh my God, it is. Yeah. Ah, oh, play Ada. Play a millisecond of that song. 
Cool, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I was just gonna say, then by the time Vice City came out, of course, um, the moral panic was over, and the, everyone just realized what a huge, massive, fucking genre-transforming hit the GTA Three was, and oh, yeah. everybody wanted to have their music in Vice City. So, mm. uh, but all the all the music stations thus far, it all feels exactly the same, including a chatterbox with Maurice Chavez. Maurice blood and pubic hair all over the studio. Do you smell? You shot him. <laughs> <laughs> the uh 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 blah, blah, blah. I was just on the topic of of music. I gotta say, like whoever got their music licensed for GTA Five. Boy, oh boy, they must be laughing all the way to the bank, yeah. I gotta given say, how many fucking times that game came out. Yeah. GTA V, the country music station, the DJ is fucking Jesco White. And Jesco White actually built the playlist himself. Oh, wow. Which is impressive. A lot of them are signs of... Uh, a lot of them are just the sounds of, like, filling ice cream cones with gasoline and huffing it. <laughs> man, I was Superman. <laughs> I should stop a cold train, man. <laughs> that just reminds me of this fucking... Wait, we were going to talk about Elden yeah. Ring. Yes, you may now yeah. talk about the Elden Ring. I've gotten we need, my we need to talk. We need to talk about cock and ring. <laughs> oh, also, I'm Taylor and she's Ada. Yeah, uh, we're playing Elden Ring, and therefore that's our identities right now. Yeah. Yeah. What did you name your character? It was something stupid. Oh, Spundus. Spundus. <laughs> Not Dildus McQueen? I always name my character something stupid along those lines. Yeah. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the last, uh, I mean, barring the famous Billy Eyelash playthrough, but, like, my last Dark Souls 3 character that I was playing, like, just by myself yeah. was named Frumpo. <laughs> <laughs> if I... It's because it doesn't matter. Yeah, it could, matters could, not. Like, you never see that in the game. Never, never. It's, it's only the name of your save file. Mm-hmm. If I play that game, I'm going to do exactly what I did uh, in Fallout 4, which is spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to make my character look like Robert Durst. F Fred Durst's cousin? The, the weird old man from the, the Kill Them All, of course, guy from that stupid... Well, it actually was a good HBO documentary series, but... Oh, wait, the guy who fucking outed himself taking a piss? Yeah, that guy. What an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make a character based off that? <laughs> it's dope? funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's funny and stupid to boot up a game and have the character look like Robert Durst. That's it's, it's entirely the gag. I uh, That just reminds me of, I forget who the fuck did it, but some less player uh, and their friend, they made a very, very <laughs> convincing Ben Stiller. <laughs> That's in, funny. In, uh, in Dragon Age 4. That's a funny choice of character to And be. he looked a lot like Ben Stiller, and it was really funny because they made him a dwarf. God, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. He was really short and had those orangutan arms. God, that is... That's really great. That is oh, yeah. really just, funny. Every cutscene he was in was fucking hilarious. So in, in Elden Ring, um, you have like you can, you can have full control over your uh, character, Um but there are like nine presets that you can start from. Uh -huh. And I was cycling through those and I got to like the third one and I'm just like, that's me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looked yep. like you. That's just me. It straight up looked like you. <laughs> so I've been playing as that with like some slight edits to make it more yeah. me. And that was that was fucking surreal. You just couldn't <laughs> give her cute purple frames. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no glasses. They had glasses in Bloodborne. I was going to say, there's glasses in Bloodborne. <sighs> You can't give people Get glasses it. and then take them away. Pre-order canceled! <laughs> <laughs> my my month-old pre-order canceled. <laughs> I pre-ordered it the day before it came out, oh. just so I could let it um, pre-download. Yeah. Yeah, I guess in this one specific instance, it's okay, just because it was so soon. It I mean, was it, for the purpose of pre-downloading it, which, fine, because normally I don't condone pre-ordering. Yeah. And also, there was copy. just... All the fucking reviews, which, um, I mean, you should never trust, but there was an inordinate amount of reviews. Yeah. More so than usual, saying. Also, it's from yeah, Software, and they have a great track record. Yeah, and from Sockward. From Sockward. Like, the, the worst game they've they've made so since they made it, started making Dark Souls is, like, Dark Souls 2, and it's still a really good game. Yeah. Mm. I thought you were going to say Sekiro and piss off a lot of people. I haven't played it, so I have no oh, opinion okay. on it. <laughs> I am angry about Sekiro, because Sekiro was going to be the new Tenchu game, and then they were like, you know what, let's just make it a Souls. And I was like, fuck you! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Cause you, I love Tenchu. You can't, you can't play the Souls game. No, I get the frustrated. You get, yeah. the, you get the dark soles of your feet <laughs> as you step on hot coals. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the caught coal souls. Right. <laughs> Literally everyone I know is playing Elden Ring, so uh, yeah. I have a lot of FOMO right I, now. I was holding back on playing it a lot just until like you know, 
I was playing New Vegas and I was all like really engrossed with it. Uh, and I wanted some time to pass so that people could make videos and stuff so that when I get stuck, I can watch shit and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be okay yeah. with it. Because uh, I am, I have no shame in, in cheating no. by, by looking ahead at shit. I'm okay with it. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, especially when I'm just like at a wall and like, oh, what the fuck do I do? I don't know. Uh, so I was waiting for that kind of content to build up. Yeah, it built up pretty effectively, but like, ooh, baby. <laughs> like, New Vegas was starting, and I fucking love that game. I was starting to get a little old just because <laughs> Elden Ring was burning a hole in my Steam library. I'm like, ah, I want to fucking play it. Ah. Yeah. I couldn't hold back anymore. I needed yeah. to. Especially with you and Jen constantly playing it downstairs. Every time I go down there, I'm like, wow, that looks neat. Wow, <laughs> that looks cool. That's Nido Torpedo. Ooh, ah. The snake's got a sword. The snake's got a sword, and the sword's Sense got Fortress? a snake. <laughs> Sense Fortress, yes. That was their tribute to Sense Fortress. Mm. But much, much bigger. Yeah, there's there's snake people in this game, but they're uh, Sneeple, as as one would say. Sneeple. Uh, but they're, like, really cute. Mm. Like, uh, I think snakes just kind of by default are cute. Yeah, but, they're like, cute. Any, like anytime you uh, see them in fantasy, they're like, oh, they're scary and yeah. they're fangly, ooh. While these have more like a monitor lizard face. Aww. And, yeah, uh, I was noticing that when... And, we're talking about the same person, right? Yeah. The same creature. Yeah, and they're they're, like... Yeah, it looks like a monitor lizard. They, they're like stubby. Oh, have <laughs> little like tiny little arms. They live in little baskets. On. Yeah, they're just like oh, I wanna, I wanna keep you in a jar and fetch you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll admit this: the the big giant snake in Sekiro is a lot scarier looking than that snake. Mm. Like that thing, that thing seriously looks like oh, geez, don't fuck with that. Are you talking about the the boss I was fighting? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I was talking about a different snake. Oh, a different snake. Yes. Well, that um, snake also kind of looked like a monitor lizard. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it was. It was. It still was a little bit cute. Which I'm like, all right, I, I I'm all for taking inspiration from things that are different. You know, yeah, different yeah. than what you're trying to do. Like that's that's an admirable goal. That's yeah. that's good. But uh. This game's fucking huge. Mm. Yes. It's almost too big. No, it is too big, because I'll fucking tell you why. Why? Because, like, uh, me getting into it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of, like, going until I hit a wall in the critical path, you know, the, the path that you're supposed to be on. The game literally tells you where to go path. Yeah. And I hit a wall there. Shit's too difficult. Okay, I'll go exploring. There are so many venues for exploring, and I literally picked every single path I could have that led me to thinking I was really fucking shit at this game. <laughs> every path I chose was bad. Like, and I chose a shitload of paths. Yeah. But then, like, I got, you know, frustrated and, like, quit for a while. And then I came back and said, okay, let's just go another path. And finally, after a bunch of different paths, different directions that I walked in, I finally reached somewhere where I'm like, okay, this actually feels like I, I'm supposed to be here. And, like, I just... If you're unlucky like me, you'll be wasting a shitload of time thinking you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, it, that is the one thing I could say to anybody, you know, debating getting into it. If you start to get that feeling, please just try looking more. Like you will reach a place where you go, okay, I can actually fight these things. Yeah. Because, fuck, I was feeling like a dope. Yeah. Ugh, it was bad. It's it's so big, I, I'm like towards the end. I hope I'm towards the end, because oh. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of done with the playthrough that I'm on right now. Mm. You want to try something uh, Yeah, new? I want to try something new. But, and like, I totally could, because uh, it's, it's really easy to respec. Oh, stuff. word? Hmm. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a limit on how many times you can do it, like no there word. were in Dark Souls Three. Hey, um, I would have respect by now if it weren't the fact that I was, I'd been pumping my intelligence for a very specific spell to use, and now I can use it, so I want to use it. Yeah, mm. was it the Kamehameha wave yeah. you were showing me? It's it's basically Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha wave. <laughs> nice, and <laughs> it's fucking great. It's it's so cool to use. <laughs> She showed me a little bit. It is very satisfying. Looking. Yes. There are so many cool-ass weapons and cool-ass spells. Mm-hmm. There is, really is no shortage of interesting ways to play this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Damn yeah. That's true for sure. And uh, Now I kind of want it. <laughs> and there's there's it's definitely a learning curve, though. Yo, so, God, you're a very steep learning curve. The, the way... The importance of the stats 
in these games are uh, pretty different from um, previous Souls games. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually the way I would play is uh, very dodgy with um, kind of middling uh, HP and endurance stats and then like really go, go high on your offense. While it seems like in these games, you don't have to put too much into offense, but you do have to put a lot into health. Mm. Like I, I reached a point where like much later on than Taylor, but similar kind of vibe of just like, I don't know what to fucking do in this game because like everything was just about one shotting me, Ooh. and I basically just had to adapt to that and start using heavier armor and pump my health a little bit, and then I, I like got over that hump mm. and experienced all this cool shit. Um, there is a because of how big it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, one criticism I'll, I'll give it is that um, some of the more optional stuff seem a little bit reused. Mm-hmm. Um, like there are these. Of uh, like tomb dungeons that you'll go into, and a lot of those, the boss will just be. Um, Is it that floating pompous that comes at you? Yeah, they're, they're like that gets reused a lot, mm. and there's quite a few where it's just like, here's this hard enemy. Now fight two of them. Yeah, and well, the Souls games are notorious for that, but uh, eh, they kind of. But Dark Souls Two, Dark Souls Two, definitely, yeah. unfairly, mm. might I add, yeah. Because Bloodborne cuts a lot of that shit, too, but you don't see people bitching about that. Yeah, because, you know, like Shadows of Yarnum, you can parry, and they'll, mm-hmm. they'll stay separate and everything. <laughs> but, yeah, um, but, like, they're optional, so I can't criticize it too much, because you don't really have to do it yeah. if you're not into them. Uh, the rewards for them are also tend to be... Um, what's the word? Shitty? Not shitty. Like, sometimes they're, they're really good. Like, there's, like, some dungeons have really good stuff that every build can use. And then some of them will just have stuff that just no one really would use a whole lot. Hmm. Um, Personally, I don't like to summon in these games, just because the reason I play them is because... You love pain. Yes, because I I like to have a hard time. (laughs) I don't want to make them easier. Yeah. Um, I I will take all the help and easiness I can get. (laughs) Yeah, I, I, I summon a lot, too, just because it's not about I want... It's not about that I want difficulty. It's like I want to progress in the game, and yeah. I can't anymore. <laughs> I did do. I did summon for uh, for Margaret, who's the first like real boss. Mm. You have to. Oh fight yeah, you summon a funny little just because there was he, he was like gatekeeping way too much uh, content at that point. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I just I just need this guy over. Yeah. So I did summon my jellyfish friend. Yeah. Uh, but if you do like summoning, you have a lot of options, mm. and a lot of the those dungeons are. Um, or you get, like, a new character that you can summon. No oh, deep. Um, and they, they work as items, basically. Um, you you just, like, get their ashes, and then once you um, activate a certain thing in this area, it will allow you to use your, your magic points to, to summon them. And they'll just follow you around, and you can upgrade them. And that's true. Like that's that. something I just found out, is that yeah. you can upgrade that's, them. I'm like, whoa, what? That's pretty fucking cool. So oh. if, if, you, if you want help, then... These dungeons are, are, are pretty good for, for for that kind of play style. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, one thing I do want to point out is that your like your mandatory boss fights mm. are really good. <laughs> like a lot of like you're you're basically trying to take down a bunch of these demigods, mm. and uh, so many of them, um, while very difficult, have just been like a treat to experience like mm. you die and you don't even care because it all just was so cool like there's one point where i'm fighting something with a like uh, a sword spear that has like a wind blade on it that <laughs> attacks from like a like a, a huge distance and it's as tall as a skyscraper and i'm taking it down anyway and it's summoning like blood skulls it's firing at me and it's a snake. And it's all in a big lava room. Yeah, and it's it's a snake, so occasionally it grabs you and just swallows you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, this is cool. That's fun. <laughs> I will say that um, that fight that I watched you do, that particular one with yeah. the wind blade, that sort of highlighted something that I was like, yo, uh, the, I hate to say it, but like this seems like what big epic fights against giant monsters should look like. Oh, absolutely. Because a lot, because 
it's a Dark Souls staple at this point. Most of your altercations, you're you're in it to win it, so you don't really have much time to think about this kind of thing. But I do because, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. My mind tends to wander. I think about how goofy a lot of these fights would look because you're just this ankle biter slapping yeah, yeah. slapping somebody's toenails and yeah. then they die. A, a lot of the the really big enemies that that don't have that kind of uh, range option available mm-hmm. uh, are just kind of silly because you're just like you're just, you're just like punching their their ankle the yeah. whole time. You're, yeah, you're biting their ankles. Trying like, to just fuck down the sink's foot. <laughs> like imagine if you're walking around and an ant. Just kept biting your foot until you died. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was a. Uh, it was a really strong ant, Ada. It's, it's basic- they can lift five thousand times their own weight. That, the- that was that was the like the giant king fight in Dark Souls two or something. Giant king fight. It was it was a. Uh, oh yeah. Where you go back yeah, in time. And yeah. Yeah. Really when you go in the, in the memory. Yeah. 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 I hated that fight. <laughs> the first place I ever saw a fight like that was um, against uh, an enemy. Na- it was a, a boss enemy named Damog the Yeti in the game Dracon the Ancient Gates. That I'm always talking about, uh-huh. uh, and you you had to fight this big old yeti named Damog, and if you just like he was really deadly, but if you just ran in close and hacked at his fucking ankle, he would die eventually. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is goofy. Yeah, <laughs> and he actually could uh, crush you to death by falling on you when he died. Wow. So at least they put that part in. But. Yeah. Yeah, but that that snake fight was like kind of like almost ruinously enlightening in a way where it's just like we could have been doing shit like this all along yeah like, you know it just it looks a lot mo- it, it, it's not just that it looks cool it that it looks like it makes sense yeah like the way that you would as this tiny little fucking bug you would fight these giant creatures you wouldn't just walk up to their funny little toe and stab them you'd find some way to fuck up like their head and stuff yeah and that wind blade allows you to do that and it looks fucking rad while you do it but the snake creature isn't defenseless because he's huge so he can reach you while you're all the way back there with that giant wind blade so it's like this works these (laughs) these are like two two this just ah it looked awesome a man, a plan, a snake, a wind blade. It looked awesome, and it looked feasible, and it looked not ridiculous, despite yeah. how ridiculous it was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the horse-based combat also mitigates that a little bit. Like, oh, like, yes, like yes, it does. Like, you fight the dragons mm-hmm. on horseback, because mm-hmm. uh, you like you get a good view of what you're fighting, instead of just being under its foot the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's, there's definitely a lot in this game that serves to uh, address the... The, the toe biter problem. Yeah. And it's good. And I like that a lot. It also has big giant monster hunter weapons all the time. So that's good too. I will say there are some toe biter enemies. But. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are. There are some, yeah, some enemies like that really just straight embarrass you. Where you just. You just. You just stab at oh. their ankles. And oh, yeah. Every every troll that you fight, they're called trolls, I swear. Yeah. Uh, every troll that you fight is, is an absolute ankle biter affair and there's no way around it. Uh, but I was talking about, like, there are a number of little enemies in this game that have surprisingly high damage and, like, really fuck-with-you kind of attacks. Yeah. I thought you meant that. Oh, no. Like, it's the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they are the ant, and now you see what it's like. There are ants. Th- there are? Yeah, they're huge, though. Oh. They're, they're like, as big as a big as a truck. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta have an ant as big as a truck. Yeah. Just sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes. It's just the law of nature. Yeah, but no, uh, Elden Ring is really interesting, and who knows, maybe I'll run into another, you know, funk with it and end up hating it or whatever, but for right now, I'm having a lot of fun. (laughs) Yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'll probably wait until both of you are good enough to coach... Mostly you, uh, Ada, are good enough to coach me before I eventually will ask for it for my birthday or some capacity where I don't have to spend my own money on it. We Jen needs to coach you because she's... I, she denies this every time. Mm. Uh, but I, I swear she's better than me at this because... She's, like, not having an issue with so many things that are driving me crazy. Well, I was um, watching her play uh, Dark Souls 3 the other week, and she was just fucking cleaning house. Yeah. She she attributes it to this weapon that, uh, uh, like, we swear is just going to get nerfed mm-hmm. in a patch eventually. Because uh, uh, all, all weapons in this game, they have a, um, like, an attack, a strong attack, and then they all have a weapon art. And mm. weapon arts are can be really unique 
like the the one that I've been using is a katana that you uh, shove into the ground and then it makes like this gravity wave around you that sucks enemies in towards you and damages them. Looks cool. Um, while a lot of them just have like special jumpy moves, and hers has a special jumpy move where she like uh, swings it um, and then like dashes backwards and then dashes forward swinging. Oh, that's and, cool. And uh, one like so like that's two attacks. And uh, one of those attacks is, like, three times as strong as her uh, just, like, normal attack. Mm. And, of course, it has that high mobility stuff, too. So she's just, like, zip-zop, zooming around. <laughs> Fucking people up. Hitting people with, with nukes. <laughs> well, I'm like, I, I, I got a spell. <laughs> I, uh, I, I fear that that's going to happen for all the weapons that I've uh, gravitated towards. Because I like spiky weapons, mm-hmm. and in video game language, spiky equals bleed damage. Yeah. Which is a special kind of damage that you could cause to oh, enemies. The, we- the weapon that Jen is using also has bleed on it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yep. And so I think bleed is going to get big time nerfed when it mm. comes time for patching. I don't know. Uh, it just makes me... Because if not for PvE, certainly for PvP. Enough mm. people are going to complain that bleed is broken. Yeah. And uh, have, have a big baby fit. <laughs> I don't give a shit because I don't fucking PvP. Sorry, how, bro. How how much have they really patched like Dark Souls one and three as far as damage stuff? Well, patches is in every game. <laughs> <sighs> once once this episode's done, I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> anyway, don't strangle him. Just kick him down a bottomless hole. I, I know that there down. were a, uh, a, a couple patches in Dark Souls one in the beginning with the whole flippering uh, stuff. Oh my god, yeah, the flippering debacle. <laughs> For, for reference, uh, in Dark Souls 1, there's a ring called the Wood Grain Ring. Yeah. And um, in these games, your equip load dictates your uh, your roll speed. So, like, if you're at above 50%, then you fat roll, so you yeah. roll really slow. If you're uh, under 50%, you, you do, like, a normal roll. And if you're under 25%, you do a really quick roll. Um, and there's... a ring that turns your extremely quick roll into a uh, like a somersault that cool. has more iframes and is, is quicker um, when they first introduced well, well when the game first came out you got that really quick roll at under 50% yeah, it's at under of, 50% uh, equip load. So, like, everything <laughs> that isn't fat rolling is now you have super flippy roll. Yeah. yeah. And so you see all these dudes in heavy armor who have just enough equip load to be under 50% in yeah. their big fat boy armor. And you see them just flipping around <laughs> doing, doing somersault. I doing remember that. Russian gymnast shit. It's, <laughs> it's fucking, fucking crazy. Flippering. Fucking flippering. <laughs> I remember, I remember the, the name of the flip ring being cursed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm sure that Elden Ring will have plenty of of that kind of crap as the as the time goes on but then also while i was playing this game and just admiring how fucking big it is all i was thinking like uh, my mind keeps darting back to like oh my god oh jesus this game's gonna have dlc oh yeah oh my god the game's already so huge i know it's it's definitely gonna have dlc because there's these like three coliseums that Um, are on the map and you can't get into any of them mm. so that's that's, mm. that's what people are theorizing is that they're they're going to be the sites of where you would enter those. Mm. Mm, okay, yeah, because I was thinking like the game is already so fucking huge. Yeah, how do you add more to this? How do you add more to I, that? I, I, but you'd also don't... be you'd also be fucking stupid if you didn't. This is like one of the most successful games in the past decade. You yeah. know. I kind of don't want more. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, it's like I, a I lot to wrap I, your head around. When I do inevitable uh, like new playthroughs, I'll. I think I'm definitely going to skip a lot of the optional content. Oh, yeah. Just because, yeah. like, yeah. I'm not going to use the rewards in them. And the fights are usually just kind of okay to uh, absolute horseshit bullshit. Like mm. those. Like the double cr- boys. Fucking crucible knights. God, I hate them. <laughs> how I hate them. <laughs> Tell them I hate <laughs> they, them. How I hate them. They drive me to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that showed up at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Also, the game's beautiful. 
Yeah, the game's it really looks, beautiful. It looks pretty good. There, there are tons of moments where you get like a, a, an effect on your thing, and it sends like a magic wave, and you're like, "Cool." <laughs> that's fun, though. That's, and, that's uh, the kind of stuff that makes gaming fun. I, I kind of like stuck and had to be all uh, stopped, and it had to be awestruck for a bit. Where mm -hmm. um, I was like walking along a mountainside, and like the sun was up. And it was so it was like casting my shadow onto the mountain, mm -hmm. and like the shadow was like so crisp oh. and perfect looking, wow. and the the light was so bright, and it felt real. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like wow, this is this is a view you hike four mount four hours up a mountain for. <laughs> That was, uh, speaking of hiking, that's exactly kind of a thing that I experienced. I was just, I found this hidden path uh, next to, like, the first big castle. I was like, oh, I need a hidden path. I'm just going to go up it. And it's, like, this, like, cliff path that, like, leads upward. And, like, through, there are a number of, like, rocks that block your view up this cliff path. But then there are some breaks in the rocks that you can look out. And you just look out and there's just forests and mountains but like you know magical fantasy mountain shit so it yeah. looks extra crazy mm. but the thing that got me was i was at the perfect time of day for it where i just looked out and the forest was like steeped in like fog and it kind of looked like a fantasy version of like this is early in the morning at the appalachian mountains yeah, yeah. And before that oh that's dope and it, and it really looked like that that's dope and i was just like Oh my god, this game's really fucking pretty. Yeah. Wow. And then a wolf killed me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got hit by a rat, Jim. I got hit by 8,000 rats. This game loves throwing rats at you. Get ready for rat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. I'll say, get ready for rat and finger butthole. Time for rat. If only I had a pickle. <laughs> if only I had large rump. <laughs> Look out for bean pole. I mean, no, if only I had giant rump. Because mm. <laughs> giant is the creature you can encounter. I don't think they have large. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Those, the messages in this game are asinine. <laughs> they're so stupid. <laughs> and they're all written by George R. R. Martin. Oh, every last one of them is written so by George R. R. Martin himself. That's why they hired him and why Game of Thrones, or why A Song of Ice and Fire never got finished. That's what he's doing instead of Winds of Winter. He's He's writing finger butthole and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there are no NPC invasions in this game. It's all George R. R. Martin. <laughs> he has to do them per yes. his contract. Per person. I thought George R. R. Martin was this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Fat joke, you see. Uh, one thing that I... It's not a gameplay criticism. It's just like... Something that's mildly frustrating to me is that a lot of the uh, important, like big name characters that you're you're fighting or trying to track down or whatever are uh, oh, yeah. are related and like have familial bonds, mm -hmm. and a lot of their names are way too similar. Yeah, that's a, so that's you, a so you, fucking George R. R. Martin. So you thing have right there, Ranny, Rena, Renala, Randy, Radon. <laughs> Right, Rikard, Rancisco. Radagon, Radagon, and then like the <laughs> like seven characters I name, and they all start with R. They're all equally important. And then there's like these other two characters that are like, uh, like Margit, Morgot, Mar yeah, uh, Mog. <laughs> and they're all the same type of enemy. And there's Godric and Godfrey. Yeah, the Godric and, and Godfrey, and, and there, there, there's Godwin. another one, Godwin. Godwin. And Garfield the Graf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've become, John. It's, it's, it's like George R. R. Martin just made seven names, and then was like, okay, and we'll randomize the vowels for these. So it's Pokemon and... Coliseum. Well, I mean, in <laughs> <laughs> there are three characters uh, named uh, Osni, Osmond, and Osgood Kettleblack yeah. in uh, the Song of Ice and Fire book. So okay. that's so, where it's fucking coming okay, from. Okay, so I, I, I blame this on George. Yeah. Okay. That's a definitely a George, George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when you when you beat Elden Ring, a banner comes down that says "Mission Accomplished." <laughs> oh no! This, this episode is getting uh, getting long, so I'll 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 just mention this and we'll close on it. No tarnished left behind. Uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, Taylor mentioned I've been playing. I, I was playing. Oh uh, yeah, Pokemon Coliseum, which is like a console game for the GameCube, where they they tried something different with the Pokemon formula. 
And, Which is like um, a unicorn. The gameplay is Pokemon. It's fun. I like it. The game looks like shit. <laughs> the story is so fucking stupid. And every fucking person in this game was named by like smashing somebody's face down on a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> There's... I, I can't... It's been a while since I played it, but... All the names are just so stupid. That's funny. And 90% of my enjoyment of this game has, has been me doing a fight and then just loudly like saying their name. And it's like, Nazcor. Fun old lady Nascor, Optum. Nazcor, yeah. Fun old lady Grumbo. <laughs> like, there literally is just, like, stupid Ada names in this game. Like, there, I'm pretty sure there was a guy named Crutto. Yeah, yeah, it was Crutto. It was Crutto. It was, it was, it was, it was okay, yeah. Crutto. You told me about Crutto. Fucking I Crutto, that, man. I remember the Crutto story. Can't fucking believe the Crutto. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, that game's ridiculous. Anyway, George R. R. Martin worked on that game, too. See y'all next week. the entire universe.